I'm Trey Redfield, women's soccer beat reporter at Citrus TV, joined by junior forward Megan Root, the Arcade New York native, led the team in goals and co-led the team in assists last season. Megan, thank you so much for taking the time. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, so you in particular, you came really close to scoring the first goal of the season. <laughs> came really close to scoring the first goal of the season against Duke. And and the offense has shown a lot of intensity, and especially in the second half against Duke and UNC this past week. But previously, there's been a lot of intensity in the first half. So what do you guys need to do to show that intensity for not just 45 minutes, but the entire 90? Right. I mean, I think that's something we've been trying to focus on, especially lately, is I think you've seen glimpses of 45 minutes where we were productive and intense and creating a lot of chances. Um, and part of it is just capitalizing on those when we do create them and then also stringing together a whole 90 minutes of play. I mean, the game is going to come in like ebbs and flows. People, they're going to have possession for certain uh, parts of the game and then we'll yeah. have times where we're more productive, but just kind of weathering the storm through when the other team keeps the ball for a while and then capitalizing when we have our opportunities. You said weathering the storm. Luckily enough, there's going to be no such thing as a storm on Thursday or Sunday, two beautiful yeah. days for a game. So that is Boston College, a winless Eagles squad, 0-4 in the season. And then on Sunday, you guys got technically a non-conference matchup against Pittsburgh. So you've seen Pitt before, and Boston College is a huge opportunity to get the first win of the year. What is the key to victory against these two ACC opponents? Uh, I think just like we spoke about, like putting together a full 90 minutes and a full 90 minute performance. Um, and another thing is getting in that first goal or two. I know we've been yeah. uh, we've been creating chances in the final third and everyone is really eager to get that first one. So I think once we get that, we'll start rolling a bit more. Um, but I think we're going into this week with a lot of confidence. I mean, um, we started to create, so I know we can capitalize on it. That is always good. Confidence is the key and consistency is the key to victory as well, like what Coach Adams said on Sunday. So I wanted to talk about your social justice movement. This has been a really big thing in our country right now, dating back to, I believe, June where George Floyd was murdered. Um, so with that, with that in mind, there's also early voting in New York coming up and you are a citizen of New York as well. That begins on Saturday. So I just wanted to ask about your message to the fans about your social justice movement with the team and what does it mean to exercise your right to vote in this country? Right. Um, so I think that's something going into the season that we really wanted to emphasize and focus on um, beyond soccer with uh, especially everything going on in the world right now. Um, that, like it's so much at the end of the day, it's so much more important than soccer. Um, so I think we've taken a lot of time as a team to have hard conversations, try to further educate ourselves, try to do more, um, like get active in the community. Uh, so we've been trying like that at the end of the day, that's more important to all of us than anything else. Um, and we're lucky to have a platform that we can use to kind of spread that message and spread more awareness. Uh, and for voting. Yeah. I mean, message to fans, like get out and vote. It's never mattered more. Um, you hear it all the time, but really like going through with it and making change. That is always good to hear. So she's Megan Root. I'm Trey Redfield. Be sure to catch her on Thursday night against Boston College at seven o'clock. But it doesn't stop from there. They play Pitt in their only non-conference matchup technically of the season. That game is set for one o'clock as well. Megan, thank you so much for taking the time once again. And good luck on Thursday. Thank you.